Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. And today we have a sort of a mystery box. Um, it's funny, a little while ago, Blackwing um, teased people with a mystery box. I think it was 50 bucks. And... Uh, they wouldn't tell you what the contents were, but there would be pencils and other things in there. And I think it sold out fairly rapidly. I did not opt uh, for it, but I thought it was an interesting and kind of fun uh, approach uh, and probably a good way for them to perhaps move some old stock that maybe wasn't um, selling briskly. So, um, this is my mystery box. Now, this was $3. <laughs> and it's not a total mystery. I was at a estate sale uh, about a month ago and rummaging through uh, a really packed home. Anyways, and I came across this dirty, dusty, old vintage, I don't know if you can make this out, Tupperware um, container, but filthy dirty uh, on the outside. Anyways, I peeked in, saw it was something I liked, put the lid back on, and um, went on my way uh, through the rest of the sale and checked it out. I have not gone through this box other than I knew that it was going to be um, filled with pencil fun, hopefully. Um, so this is what it is. Let me put this lid here somewhere. So this was on top and you could kind of see it coming through uh, the lid. Uh, and, um, boy, I just love this right here. This is an Empire Pocket Saver, otherwise known as a pocket protector. Stops wear and tear and ink stains for coat or shirt pocket. Uh, has a UPC code on it, so it's post-1984. Um... Here it says Empire Pencil Company, Shelbyville, Tennessee. Also the home of Musgrave, but it's still sealed up. Um, very kind of basic packaging. I love this. It looks like it was 39 cents. And then they marked it down at Marlette Pharmacy. So Marlette um, is a little town... Well, not little, but a small town uh, in here in the thumb. And uh, anyways, I don't know that Marlette Pharmacy is still there, but um, it was 19 cents. So it was like half off. Um, and this person bought it and here it sits. Anyways, that's fun. Um, then we've got this. So, I'm not sure how best to approach this other than to kind of go through it. I'm going to suspect, look at all the, I'm going to, I'm going to get my, my little pencil sorter here and, um, uh, it's, by the way, this is, let me, my pencil sorter. This is uh, something that the Dollar Tree was selling this summer, and it is a six-cup caddy. And you could put six cups in here, or six cans of pop, or six bottles of beer, or whatever, and carry it around. And it's certainly very functional for that. Um, however, I have also found that it is perfect for holding pencils and pens. Um, and so 
anyways I don't know if they're it's still in the stores it was a summer item um, and certainly certainly they had it in all kinds of colors I bought a couple of them to help me with my situation here um, so let's just go through there's pencils there's a few erasers in here as well um, and I'm going to ask my fellow pencil collectors to help me out um, if you see something here uh, that I don't know what it is you may be able to help me so here is something Valpac 50-2 okay it's so funny these are all yellow pencils in here yo here's a good old Faber Castell American Here's an Empire number two. Goes with that Empire pocket protector. Here's a Scripto. Same people who <clears throat> make uh, other mechanical pencils and lighters they used to make. A Scripto yellow pencil. 0 0.7 millimeters. Number two, made in Mexico. Sounds like there's still something in there. Here is a very smashed up uh, Papermate Sharp Writer pencil made in the USA. Um, chewed up Faber Castell Americans, I think. Where did I put those? It's over here. I think we're going to have a lot of those. Boy, these pencils got used, huh? I didn't know here's another Empire I don't know what this person it's almost looked like they were used in a school or something it's another paper made sharp writer they are making these in the USA I don't know when they they stopped doing that um, sharp writer This is really worn out. I cannot even make this out. I don't don't really. Looks like there was a feral crimped on here. I have no idea. American sharp writer. Let me see if we can pull some of these sharp writers out of here. Looks like they had quite a few. There's another scripto. I think Scripto got out of the uh, disposable pencil, mechanical pencil business. I haven't seen their stuff, um, at least the cheap ones. Here's an old pencil. Certainly, look at that ferrule. It's old. Uh, don't know if it was green, white, or what. We've got some erasers here. So here's some old magic rubs um, when they were made by Sanford. Um, and here is a paper mate white pearl. Here's just one something that's this pink eraser, probably from uh, maybe one of the discount stores. Here's a number two Mustang uh, with the plastic ferrule um, by Empire. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. We'll put that with the other Empire pencils. Sharp writer. Get these out of here. It's a scripto. Another Empire. Aha. Uh -huh. A Ticonderoga. And look at the point on that. Someone sharpened this with their pocket knife. Um, a two and a half. Ticonderoga. Empire. Now, made in China. Dynamic number two pencil. Okay. Oh, here's an old choice 
Empire, Made in USA, number two. Okay, we'll put that the, the American. Paper mate, sharp writer, sharp writer. Old Tupperware has a certain aroma to it. Here is a, a, a cheap, judging by the wood, promotional pencil for Mercy. Uh, I believe this is probably Mercy Hospital. Okay, here's one for you, pencil collectors. Made in USA number two, that's all we know about this little red stub. Do we know who made it? Does this look familiar? Does that, does this font and placement of that printing tell you what it is? I have no idea. Here's a Thor Napco bonded made in USA number two. Empire. Another choice. Sharp writer. Another one of those dynamic made in China. Sharp writer. A lot of sharp writers. Dynamic. Dynamic. American. American. Well, someone would had an anger issue. Oh, you know what? I bet you these two go together. Why do I just... No, they don't. Okay. <laughs> someone was really into breaking pencils. This pencil is broken, almost. Another one of those mercy little promotional stubs. An unmarked, chewed on ferrule. Would love to know the story behind this box. Now here is a big Mickey. Um, and you can see the Mickey Mouse ears sort of there. Don't know who made this pencil. Anybody have any idea? Big Mickey. Motec Education Center. Uh, Motec, I don't know that they're around anymore. 313, that's a Detroit area code. They were a vocational school where you went to learn uh, automotive. Um, Automotive education. Here's another one. Automotive Education Center. To be a mechanic. He went to Motec. Um, again, I'm taking all these sharp writers out of here. Well, there's a lot of them. Here is a school service pencil number two. Number 120. No idea. Anybody know the the maker on this one? Hmm. Another Val pack. Dried up rubber band. Here's a gold seal. Empire number two. Kind of has a nice green foil imprint. Um, MPI School Pencil, number two, MPI, uh, don't know what that could mean, MPI, Musgrave Pencil, Incorporated, I don't know, um, does anybody have a clue on that, a lot of these Americans here. Here's a promotional pencil for something. It's kind of cut off. Sharp writer. 
Here's another school service pencil, number two. So I'm wondering if this person, school service pencil, was a teacher. And perhaps these were pencils used in the classroom for various things. Number two, uh, Faber-Castell American. Now here's a Ticonderoga and it's embossed here. It's hard to see. USA. Number four, extra hard. An American. Chief old person says, say no to drugs. This pencil is broken terribly. Supported by Kmart stores. Okay. Chief old person. All right. Just say no. So maybe that was during the Reagan, Nancy Reagan years. Sharp writer again. Sharp writer. Sharp writer, sharp writer. Y'all having fun going through this box with me? Here's another choice by Empire, number two. Here is a uh, Associated 600, number two, USA Bonded. Now, I think this Associated is a... Um, uh, oh, we saw another one here. I can't remember the the company, but um, they did like office supplies. Uh, they were an office supply house. I think that's... I don't know who actually made it. If anybody does, please share. Another an American. American, American. Sharp writers. Out of here. Now, here is a Pentel Planets. The Z instead of an F's, 0 0.7 millimeters, USA. Okay. Wasn't aware that um, Pentel made things in the USA, or perhaps they had a, um, a third part, uh, you know, a, a, par uh, a company make them. So, that's unusual. I've not seen one of these. Okay. Here is a Napco office pencil, and somebody wrote Henshaw. Probably their name in that pencil. Universal Blackstonian. 555. Embossed USA. This is a two point two and a half, two point five. Blackstonian. Okay, here you have a Sanford American. So we go from Faber Castell to Sanford American. I believe one bought the other. It's pencil uh, operation number two. Uh huh. Citizen Federal Savings Bank. Not sure where that was. Lakes College in Midland, Midland, Michigan. That's where Dow Chemical is. And Caro. They grow a lot of carrots out in Caro. Um, pencil sharp, uh, sharp writer. Let's see, here's another choice by Empire. Dare to resist drugs and violence. Boy, these have been through the mill. Here's a Dixon trim line. Number two. Okay. Another choice. I did a uh, recent, fairly recent, review of choice pencils. I found a bunch of them at a thrift store. Um, so you can search for that if you have any interest. 
now we're getting down to the bottom here. Uh, two and five tenths Dixon Ticonderoga. Okay. What do we got here? It just says number two HB. Okay, not sure. Here's another two and five tenths Ticonderoga. Two and five tenths. So somebody had a box of those one time. American Faber Castell American number two. Yeah, American number two. These were such those were such standard issues um, in schools. Empire number two. Happy birthday. Okay. What's a little stub of an American and a American stub. American number two. American. Uh, this looks like it might have been the way that the two is an empire. But I'm not sure. Choice and an empire number two. Okay. An American. Here's an American 2.5. So there's a change up. Oh, look at this. Here's a Venus Velvet number three hard. Okay, so we had that one of those in the mix. A choice and an empire number two. And we've got some pencil caps in there. This I have no idea. It's just a red painted pencil. I see no marking on it. So who knows? And then here, wow, these are hard as rocks and they're wet. So something's happening here to the rubber. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, from being in this, I don't know how long they have been in this pill bottle. A long time. And they are, look at my hands. Weird. And then there's some other little caps in there. Well, okay. So, we got some petrified eraser caps. We've got a pocket saver. The white pearl eraser. Curious about that. Uh, magic rubs. They're still somewhat pliable. Um, a pink eraser. The er these erasers actually are, are pretty soft. The erasers on the pencils, however, including the sharp writers, are all rock hard. But, so, there you go. Three bucks for my mystery box. <laughs> At the end of the day, I don't know if there's anything of any great value in here. But that's not what it's about. It's about the fun of sort of seeing what's here. Um, and... I think a lot of these pencils are sort of beyond um, practical use, um, but uh, I think a lot of them have li lived a very good life, uh, hopefully doing schoolwork or learning something. But uh, anyways, I wanted to share it with you and um, see, what, see what was all in here. So, thank you um, for spending 25 minutes going through these pencils with me. Um, I had fun. I hope you did too. So, thanks for watching. Please share, like, and subscribe. 
We'll see you again soon here on Always Analog.